More now on the coronavirus pandemic. Antibody tests have flooded the market, promising to answer the nagging question of whether you could be immune and protected from COVID-19. Reporter Dorothy Tucker from our sister station in Chicago puts the antibody test to the test with surprising results. Headache, chest congestion, uh, chest pain. When Mark Thomas and his wife got sick after attending a church event with 100 people, he was convinced it was COVID-19, but he wasn't sure. So we wanted to get a test just to make sure and rule out that we had COVID-19. They decided to get an antibody test, which they hoped would tell them they were immune to the virus and protected from reinfection. I wanted to see, right, how I should proceed with my life going forward. The results were surprising. The results were negative. There is no presence in my system of COVID-19 and that I did not have the antibody. I thought for a fact that I had COVID-19, absolutely. So I, I am still very skeptical of this test. Thomas is among those who has raised questions about the accuracy of antibody tests, which is why we decided to test the test. Only 22 have been given temporary emergency approval by the FDA, the Federal Food and Drug Administration. That's out of some 250 that have been on the market. We chose three based on cost and how long it would take to deliver results. I was sick about the middle of March. Investigative producer Michelle Youngerman led our investigation. She had some of the symptoms of COVID-19. I had a cough, I had a fever, um, I lost my sense of smell, the chills. Over the course of three weeks, Youngerman visited three clinics, getting three different tests. The Vibrant test, $225. It was negative for a recent infection, negative for an older infection, no antibodies. The Hangzhou Rapid Finger Prick, $75 positive for a recent infection, negative for an older one, positive for antibodies. The Abbott Architect, covered by insurance, negative for a recent infection, positive for an older one, yes to antibodies. So the results are mixed. At this point, we're scratching our heads. So we turn to Dr. Philip Norris, an infectious disease expert from San Francisco, California. The question, which test is correct? So you're asking me, is this a positive or a negative? Was Michelle infected or not? And the answer is maybe. Maybe? That's not what anybody wants to hear when they spend all that money. I do think it is buyer beware. Dorothy Tucker, CBS2 Investigators. A lot of confusion still. The makers of the three antibody tests have not returned calls for comment. The FDA allowed each of these tests to be used at that time, so the providers did nothing wrong.